In 1965, President John F. Kennedy ordered the creation of a new Army Division, the 1st Cavalry Division, also known as the Air Cavalry Air Mobile. This was an experimental division that was to test American tactics in warfare using helicopters. This division was often referred to as the 1st Team due to the fact that in most cases, the 1st Cavalry was always at the battlefield first, taking on the North Vietnamese and suffering many casualties before another friendly division would arrive. Under this division's 3rd Brigade, the 2nd Battalion of 7th Regiment, or the 2nd of the 7th, served in the Vietnam War from August 1965 to March 1971. This was the same 7th Cavalry Regiment that General Custer had led at the Battle of Little Bighorn during the Indian Wars in 1876. Alpha Company 2nd of 7th played a major role in the war and greatly helped defeat the Viet Cong, the People's Army of Vietnam, or the North Vietnamese Army. This company went through hard times and faced many difficulties, but through the great suffering and loss, they fought bravely for America and freedom for the South Vietnamese. Even in the worst situations, they never backed down. This is their story from November 11th, 1965 to February 13th, 1966. In 1965 through mid-1966, Alpha Company 2nd of 7th with the rest of the 1st Cavalry Division was stationed at the Anki Valley at Camp Holloway, known as the Golf Course because of the shape of the huge helicopter landing strip located there. It was based in the Central Highlands of Vietnam. Being a cavalry division, the helicopter landing zones took up a large portion of the base. The rest was filled with the troops' housing, mess halls, artillery placements, bunkers, communication towers, command centers, and clubs for recreation. On November 11, 1965, Alpha Company was sent to the Plea Coup 2 Corps compound and on the 12th flew into the Idrang Valley in the Central Highlands of Vietnam to rescue the 1st of the 7th from ambushing PAV and battalions. Once landing within landing zone X-ray, the company was immediately hit by North Vietnamese sniper fire. After deploying across the LZ, they followed their company officer, Captain Joel Sugness, and Executive Officer, Lieutenant Larry Gwynn, as they advanced to command post to Lieutenant Colonel Moore, the leader of the 1st of the 7th. Eventually, Alpha Company was ordered to defend the perimeter, and over a day and a half, they fought small firefights against NVA that were attempting to attack the 1st of 7th. After defending the 1st of 7th and Alpha Company's 3rd Rifle Platoon, which was at X-ray Earlier's evacuation, Alpha Company was sent by foot to landing zone Albany on the 13th. Once arriving to LZ Albany, NVA attacked the tired company. Alpha Company took intense fire from all sides from the attacking Vietnamese, and went into chaos once most platoons were cut off from each other. Eventually, Alpha Company managed to regroup, hold back the NVA, call in air support to finish the job, and two more companies, Alpha Company 1st of the 5th and Bravo Company 2nd of 7th, to help defend the perimeter. But Alpha Company 2nd of 7th still suffered. 1st and 2nd Platoon had almost been wiped out, and Mortar Platoon took some losses, which meant about 70% of the men in Alpha Company were either killed or wounded at the end of the Battle of the Idrang on the 18th of November, equivalent to about 80 men, a major loss to Alpha Company. Still, Alpha Company alone withstood and almost wiped out an elite NVA battalion, leading to an American victory at the Battle of the Idrang. After the Battle of the Idring, Alpha Company went back to the golf course on the 20th of November and enjoyed their stay Thanksgiving to mid-January. Eventually, the company was refitted and stayed to defend there until around mid-January when they were sent on a simple search and destroy mission not far from Camp Holloway. There they found and searched a suspected Viet Cong village in which they burned to keep from becoming a VC base, and then returned back to base. Later around the end of mid-January, Alpha Company was selected to ambush a suspected location where an NVA division may pass by in an attempt to attack Camp Holloway. Fortunately, there wasn't an NVA division in the area and the men returned back to base unharmed. Late January, Alpha Company was assigned to Operation Masher, later renamed to Operation White Wing for political reasons. The area they were meant to be located was at Landing Zone 4 around Bong Song. On the 25th of January 1966, they were flown into LZ-4, but during the flight, a C-123 plane had crashed into the Anki Mountain, killing 3rd platoon and some mortar platoon, equaling 44 good men. 
These were almost all the survivors of the Battle of the Eye Drang and Alpha Company. This was a tragic loss to the men. Once the rest of the men and Charlie Company arrived at LZ-4, they had difficulty in trying to land because of continuous fire from the 22nd NVA Regiment that crashed many helicopters that attempted landing. They eventually landed and engaged the enemy in the muddy, trenched, and hedged terrain near a village and burial mounds. This made matters worse for Alpha and Charlie Company. After an intense conflict raged across the area, Alpha Company, Charlie Company, reinforcements from Bravo Company, and a company from the 2nd of 12th Cavalry showed up later on the 20th, finally pushed out the NVA and Viet Cong, winning a long and hard-fought victory on the 31st of January. Alpha Company lost seven good men to the enemy during this battle. After the conflict at Landing Zone 4, they were ordered to set an ambush on an NVA division around a valley called the Crow's Foot. On the 12th of February, they landed somewhere near the valley and began to move to the ambush site by foot. On the 13th, they had found a large hidden enemy's weapons cache as well as an NVA prisoner on their way to the site. So they were then reordered to create a landing zone to be flown out of the valley. Alf Company had lost many good men, that totaled to 82 killed in action defending freedom. All of these men that served in Alf Company had voluntarily entered the army to serve America. Alf Company had been in major battles and suffered, but still, they survived and continued to serve their country well to the end of their need. Alf Company fought elite NVA and still, defeated them through their leaders and their love and loyalty for America. The helicopter tactics that Alpha Company had tested played a major role in Alpha Company's success. The tactics also helped America learn what tactic was used for what certain occasion. All these men gave some, some gave all. Through the tragedy of death and the triumph of victory, these good men of Alpha Company have made an impact to the world that should not be forgotten. The extremely high regard that I have for the American soldier. He is the best fighting man that I have ever seen. And I would like for you, if you convey anything out of this area where we've been for the last three days and nights, please convey to the American people what a tremendous fighting man we have here. He's courageous, he's aggressive, and he's kind. And he'll go where you tell him to go. And he's got self-discipline. And he's got good unit discipline. He's just an outstanding man. And having commanded this battalion for 18 months, you must excuse my emotion here, but when I see some of these men go out, the way they have, I have I can't tell you how highly I feel. They're tremendous.